Land 555 Phase 6, Australian Army's Bushmaster's Armored Vehicle to Receive Electronic Warfare Capability. Raytheon has secured $51 million to deliver electronic warfare, EW, capabilities to the Australian Defence Force, Australia's Minister for Defence Industry Pat Conroy announced on July 18. The contract, which consists of two parts, has been awarded to Raytheon Australia to provide the land electronic warfare capability that will complement existing systems and enhance the ability to deter, defeat and deny attacks and threats. Land 555 Phase 6 will deliver electronic support and electronic attack capabilities mounted on the Bushmaster platform, in addition to electronic support and electronic attack, Land 555 PH6 provides a dedicated command and control capability to better coordinate EW effects on the battlefield. The contract period commenced on May 17, 2022 and is expected to be completed by Q4 2025. Raytheon has been contracted to deliver a Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicle Medium-Based Force Level EW capability to the Australian Army under Tranche 2 of the Land 555 Phase 6 project, a spokesperson for the Australian Department of Defence, DOD, told Global Defence Corp. on July 18. The spokesperson said this project builds on delivering additional EW systems and facilities supplied to the Australian Army under Tranche 1 of the Land 555 Phase 6 project. The Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicle, Medium, PMVM, is sustaining jobs in Australia and saving lives on deployment in dangerous environments. Developed by Thales, Land CIEW is a range of tactical electronic support and attack solutions which can be delivered as equipment, systems, and services. As a dedicated electronic countermeasures mission package, it is designed to target the current and near-term radio signals environment of airland operations in peace, crisis or war, HF, VHF and UHF emissions in fixed frequency or frequency agile modes. Land CIEW can include sensor payloads, sensor exploitation hardware and software, sensor integration on army platforms such as shelters, land vehicles, UAV and light aircraft and sensor C2 integration on secure voice and data networks between combat net radios. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.